Watching KTVU Fox 2 News at 6.30. Now to San Francisco, where the trial of an officer has triggered a fight over who gets to investigate the police. Now the officer at the center of that case is defending himself against excessive force charges. KTVU's Christian Kaftan has more on today's testimony. San Francisco officer Terrence Stangle took the stand and told jurors that he pulled his baton and used it against Dakari Spires to protect himself and his partner from being hurt. The incident all unfolded near Fisherman's Wharf in 2019 and was captured on the officer's body-worn cameras. Stangle and his partner were called to the scene of what was originally called into 911 as a possible case of domestic abuse. When the officers arrived, they quickly used force to take Spires into custody, breaking his leg. Wednesday, Officer Stangle's attorney questioned him on the stand about the incident. Stangle said it was not his intention to break Spire's leg, saying, quote, I was trying to get him to stop fighting my partner, and I was trying to get us out of the situation without getting hurt. On cross-examination, the prosecutor tried to show that Stangle and his partner did not follow their training in developing a plan before arriving at the scene, and that Stangle was in good physical shape and should not have felt threatened by Spire's. KTVU was at court earlier this month when Spires testified and said he wanted consequences for Stangle for what happened to him. Just held accountable. Held accountable. That's all. That's all I want to see. And the prosecution has already rested. No word on when the jury will get this case. And the case has added fuel to the simmering dispute between San Francisco police and the district attorney and is seen as a test case for prosecutions against police officers for on-the-job activities. The city of San Francisco has already settled a civil lawsuit with Spires for $700,000. In San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.